All right, welcome back to your post-game Sky Best game of the week. I'm here with head coach Brian Hampton of Ash County. Uh, overall, a pretty good ball game for Ash County. It was a real good ball game to watch if you're a fan. Uh, what are your first thoughts after the game? Uh, I'll tell you exactly what I told the kids. I told the kids I've never been prouder of a team, uh, and I haven't. I mean, they had a chance to fold, and they kept fighting. And I told them, I said, if there's time on the clock, we've got a chance. And, you know, I felt like with five seconds left, if we got that onside kick deep enough, we were going to try a field goal. I mean, it goes through, we, we win. If not, hey, we, we fought to the last second. But still, we fought. and we That's why I'm so proud of our kids. They just, they never quit. It looks like they've taken a knockout shot and they get up off the canvas and they keep throwing punches. We were talking uh, just briefly after the game, and we talked about that safety <laughs> and uh, how big of a – big of an impact that really played in the game that's really the two points right there uh, you know, that's that's what we were joking around saying you know why did we play the rest of the game it was over after that first drive that was the two <laughs> points but you know just one of those things that I don't I don't remember the breakdown in the protection I'm sure they blitzed us they blitzed us all night and you know Eli just trying to make a play and that's right. but that's what Eli does and hey he got caught one time but Eli made up for it he made enough plays tonight to where you know, he's the reason offensively we were able to move the football. I got a question. It, I was wondering if you talked to him at halftime just about throwing the ball away because it seemed like in the second half that kind of clicked. Where in the first half he was taking some sacks, the second half he looked like he was trying to throw the ball away, although on the one he took the uh, – Right. Right. I didn't have to talk to him. He came to me and said, I got to get rid of the ball. Right. So he knew – he knew – Eli's growing into the position and he's growing into his leadership role and, and he is – he's our guy. And he knows when – I don't have to yell at him. He knows when he screws up, and he's harder on himself than I am. And, and as you know, playing for me, I, I'm pretty rough on a quarterback. But he's, uh, he knew that he had to get rid of the ball. And, you know, at the end of the half, he came to me at, you know, after halftime, the, the last play. I said, just don't throw an interception. And he kept it, and I was mad at him for not throwing it. Right, yeah, you have to throw it up. Well, he said, Coach, the last thing you said to me was don't throw an interception. And so, you know, he did exactly what I asked him to do there. So he understands, he understands the game, and he understands when he messes up what he's got to do. Right. We understand it. Well, he's going to mess up some because he's right. going to try to make plays. Yeah, that's just part of growing into the position right. like that. That's I mean, it's fourth down, that situation. You throw a pick, it's just as good as a punt. Right. I mean, you might get a pass interference or something like that. I talked about that was one of his worst plays of the game. But one of the best plays I thought of the whole game was on that final drive where he made that big-time run and got you down inside right. the 10. And I like. can't even remember what the pass play was called. But he's, we were sprinting him out to his left. And, and we had a, a, a curl wheel, something like that, on, and a flat player. And everybody went to the outside, and he saw a crease. And that's that's one thing I've talked about before about Eli is he is a runner first. And sometimes it's hard to get a quarterback to tuck the ball and run when they see grass. He'll do it. And he is he's a competitor, and he wants the ball in crucial situations. And that's just – He's going to make a lot more plays like that for us. Right. Well, I'm sure you left a lot of Ash County fans proud tonight with a, with a two-point loss, I guess. But you can say that the team probably really grew from this. I don't know how they felt coming into the game playing against a, a 4A high school. But uh, what do you we, think they took uh, out of it? We, we told them all, all week our big thing was respect. We wanted to get their respect. Yeah, they're, they're 4A. We don't, we don't worry about that. We're, we're going to play whoever's on our schedule. And, and we feel like we're, we're able to compete with whoever we play. And, and – I told him, I called Tom out there at the five seconds left to go out and tell him, hey, you've earned the respect. Let's not screw it up by doing something crazy here. Right. And, and after the game, I told him, take your helmets off and hold your heads high, boys, because they know that we were here tonight. And, they, and I told them before the game again, make Ash County proud. And I'd say Ash County's proud of this team. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing you all play next week. <laughs> Let's don't talk about North Surrey <laughs> yet.